the newly appointed acting president of Cycling South Africa, Zumakolo Eistir Khatasi, already has a plan to elevate cycling, well, on the national sporting platform. One of his visions is to lobby his executive to organize top cycling events in township areas with the aim of empowering disadvantaged cyclists from these areas. Transformation and development programs are high in his priority. He has elected acting president from his position as vice president after Willie Newman resigned in Feb. He will act in the position until 2020 when a new executive should be elected. Cycling development is in Zamukolo Yester Katas's blood. Before his vice president stint, he was CSA Youth Transformation and Development Chairperson. He is also the founder of the Siangoba Community Sports Development, a key driver of promoting cycling in townships. Uh, townships deserve to have uh, races, huge races, like Cape Cycling Tour is supposed to, to be happening in Kailicha, in New Brighton, in everywhere. There are many, many huge races that are supposed to be witnessed by young children, black, particularly children of color that can witness uh, the, the, the cycling race. Patasi acknowledges that sponsorship is key to develop and grow cycling, and there is a lot of work to be done in this sector of CSA. He also wants to bring local authorities on board, especially for maintaining roads to facilitate cycling races. The passion for cycling is already established in nine cycling areas. It's fun, we get more fitter, and in 10 years' time I would like to see myself as a professional cyclist. I like it because you get to go on nice tracks and like it's fun and uh, you get to cycle with nice people. Cycling South Africa also plans to host a number of cycling safety programs nationwide to create an awareness around cyclists. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.